doing is making sure I'm getting 12 volts to that starter. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be, but you know, I know you can't see the meter, so you have to take my word for what I find. It's pretty straightforward. so I could see what I was doing. Twelve point one four. See, so yeah, I'm definitely getting twelve volts here. Let's hook up the switch and make sure that it's not an issue with with the uh, wiring to this right here. I mean, that looks pretty good, but let's make absolutely sure. So I'm gonna hook up my ignition switch. All right, well, I don't know where my ignition switch is. So instead, I'm gonna try to use a screwdriver. I hate doing this, but you know, crap happens. like I need a relay. Mm. Okay, so here's the relay. It's an LED relay with a built-in fuse. It's got a nice 30 amp fuse, so it should be good for a hard start relay. And I found some wiring instructions just to make sure I was getting it right. But basically, we're going to connect 30 and 87 30 and 87 to between the solenoid and the 12 volt hot on the starter motor and then the yeah 30 and 87 does that and let's see 86 where's 86 yeah 86 right there goes to ground and then 87, which is this one over here, is what goes to the terminal on the solenoid. So we'll do 30 first, which is this wire here, this red one. Pull it off. This one goes to the 12 volt hot on the starter motor. And let's find a nice big ring. Yeah, that looks good. This is probably all too long. Yeah. Find some snippers. I just got these. Made in Italy. Woohoo. Use safety glasses. Oh no. <laughs> CHP, I don't know who that is. Whatever. California Highway Patrol is making snippers now. There we go. And we'll get you on there. Check that connection. We're good. Yeah. One of these days I'm going to get a proper tool for heat shrink. These are heat shrink connectors. So I don't have to use more heat shrink on them than I already have. Makes it nice and black. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> Whatever. Alright. So that goes to the starter. 12 volts hot on the starter. All right, and then 87 goes to the solenoid. Which one's 87? Uh, man, I can't see. There we go. This one's 87. Yeah. So this blue one is 87. That 
gets a spade connector. Okay. I know I own spade connectors, but are you? What the heck, man? There's one. They got mixed up down here in the no, you can't see this one here. They got mixed up in there. Sorry, am I bumping you? I bumped everything else. Come on, open up enough to get in there. There we go. Are you in? One thing you don't want to do is heat this end up because it'll cover, go over the edge there and you'll never get a connection on the other side. guys go to the starter and which one is going to be ground that's going to be 86 which is that one white smaller gauge wire. I don't know what I'm going to use for you yet for tightening you down. I'll start with this. Always give it a tug. Everybody needs a tug now and again. So what's left? 86. And you will be a male spade connector to connect to the existing wire for the solenoid. He's cut nice. Like well, I said, I just got those. I think that might have been a mistake. I think I need another big one like this and I'll do it on the ground on the starter. Yeah. I do indeed. Let's kill this and start over because I know that that's wrong. I think I would have planned this out better, huh? big as I got. That looks like it for that size. Let's 
funny is I love these ones with a built-in heat shrink. But if I run out of these and I can't find the ones with the heat shrink, I can get these cheapy ones. I always take the insulator bit off and just use heat shrink. Those insulator bits are a joke. couple of them already they are I just like the uh, they're good seem to be good quality but I really like the built-in fuse so I don't have to do an inline fuse or anything all right let's go back outside all right let's see what we got here oh I should probably just connect the battery huh <laughs> shit all right batteries a Bosch reman I mean the starter so Bosch reman and it looks pretty new <clears throat> no this is a Bosch 100% new holy crap that is a sweet starter that's an expensive starter all right batteries disconnected let's make this happen okay what do you think that is? 12 or 13? I'm thinking 13. Yep. That's not gonna go anywhere. Fine. Do it the old fashioned crappy way. I have to get a socket because I can't get past this damn wire. Alright, let's try it. liked it better when it wasn't running. I 
generally like the quality of the camera I'm using. It's a Panasonic Lumix something or other. It's not a, it's a point and shoot almost, you know, it's a little small pocket camera. But that's 4K. And uh, I just realized when I started it filming again, I pushed the button, but it didn't film. It beeped, but it didn't start actually filming. And I'm thinking that explains why I had so many issues getting it. You know, where I put, I'm like, I know I filmed this, where'd it go? All right, so I get this wire. Goes on this. Oh, that's pretty shit. Now let's get this on there and I will come I'll get a pair of pliers and tighten that up. That is just sloppy as shit. Look at that. Hell, that's probably the damn problem all around. Oh well, that really won't hurt anything being there anyway. Uh, you know, that connector has probably been heat cycled so many times it'll break as soon as I try to squeeze it. just right here, huh? Yeah, okay. All right, fine. <laughs> no problem, no problem. Oh, seriously, you are so damn close. I hate you. Tell me those little needle nodes have a cutter on there. Fuck no. Damn it! Alright. Need a cutter. So who remembers what we used to call these? I'm not gonna say it. Just, if you remember, laugh. Started, it'll crush it. Right. Kind of surprised there's no washer up. I sure there's supposed to be one. Seems like there should be. zip tie right about there will work well. I don't know, I don't know how much temperature that can take, but we'll find out. First let's test. Thank you. 
So I was reaching in to tighten down the battery clamp and I slammed my head under the door sill and these glasses were on my head. No damage. I mean, I slammed them hard. And I gotta say, I am really happy with these. I got them from Zenny Optical, not a sponsor, but let's see if you can see. There we go. Focus. That's just the number. There we go. Zenny, right there. They were 40 bucks. I got them with all the coatings and all the extra crap. I even got Dark Shark engraved on there. But 40 bucks without dealing with insurance or anything. I just punched in my prescription. I actually, I actually increased the magnifi magnification by two across the board. Because if I'm wearing these around the car or something, I'm probably really close to whatever I'm working on. You can kind of see the magnification there. Anyway, just thought I'd share that these things are pretty damn bulletproof. This isn't the first time I've done something like this either. Alright guys, see ya. So there we go. Zip tight it here. I don't know if heat's going to be an issue or not. So I'll be watching it. But the nice thing is I got clear visibility into that fuse. So if I have any issues, I can stick my head out and see.